as an Antipodean, how big is a billion? No, I'm not even going to go there, man. Well, what were you taught? What were you taught at school? Okay, so there's basically um, two ways of interpreting what a billion is. There's the, uh, there's the correct English way and there's the incorrect American way. I think I was taught a billion is a thousand million. Mm. Right, exactly. Now that's what I was taught at school as well, although in Britain uh, the older generation would say a billion is not a thousand million, they would say it was a million million. Uh, this is th there's, a, there's a, a beautiful mathematical logic to the old way of doing it, which you know I just don't see in, in, the, in the new way. If we ask our viewers, uh, I reckon about half of them will answer a billion has nine zeros, that's a thousand million. And I reckon the rest of them will say a billion has 12 zeros, which is a million million. And it depends on how old you are and where in the world you live. Let's be honest, real mathematicians and real scientists, if they've got a large number, they're not really going to use billions and trillions. They actually use standard form. So if I want to say something with 27 zeros, you'd write... You know, something like this, you know, you'd be 5 times 10 to the 27. But if you're reading articles uh, in the newspapers, on you know, BBC website, uh, they're going to use words like billions and trillions. Now, there is a dispute. There are two systems. There's the short system and the long system. So let's have a look at the short system first. So the short system is based on powers of 1,000. Let's start off with the number 1. Now, it is a power of 1,000. It's 1,000 to the power 0. So that's 1. What's the next step up? Well, you get 1,000, don't you? That is 1,000 to the power 1. That's three zeros. I'll put that over here. We've got three zeros there. What's the next step up? It's a million. Right, let's do a million. 1,000 squared. That's, that's six zeros. We've got six zeros. Uh, what's next up after that? Well, in the short system, the next one is a billion. So a billion, that's a thousand cubed, and that's ten to the power nine, nine zeros. After that, you get a trillion, which is one thousand to the power four, and that's ten to the power twelve. That's twelve zeros. And we can keep going after that. So let's see, million, billion, trillion. The next one is quad. Quintillion, a sextillion, septillion. This is what America uses, and it's what Britain uses, and it's what the English-speaking world now uses. Britain adopted this officially. The government officially adopted the short system in 1974. So there is a generation gap. Uh, for people who are sort of used to the long system. You are aware that the UK yeah. has adopted 10 to the 9. Yeah, you know, the UK's been on the slide for a while, right? So uh, they should have stuck to their guns because the, the, uh, the 10 to the 12 versions makes loads more sense. The thing that annoys me with this, though, is you see, so by means two, like bicycle, uh, but it's not a thousand to the power two, it's a thousand to the power three. It's horrible, isn't it? Or maybe, maybe it's just someone wanted to be say, oh, we can say a billion, right? We can say someone's a billionaire, and we can say it more, more quickly by if we use this different definition of a, of a billion. But, you know... Yeah, it's pretty horrible. Well, trillion, which should be a three, then, is a thousand to the power of four. Not very nice. Because, if you ask me, the long system is more logical. I, I can't understand it. I, I suspect somebody... I could be wrong about this, but I expect somebody just got it wrong, and it sort of caught on. So the long system is used by most of continental Europe and the non-English speaking world. And it's based on powers of one million. So let's start off with, in the same place we started before, with the number one. That is a million to the power zero. Uh, so same as before. The next power is going to be here, a million. So that's a million. Let's write it down to the power of one. Now, the next power of a million will be, and in the long system, it is called a billion, which is one million squared. It is a bi-million, and that's where the word billion comes from. So it's a million to the power two. 
So let's, let's join those up. So one is one, that's fine. Million and million are the same. But here, 12 zeros was called, sh in the short system, a trillion. I actually prefer billion in the long system. The next power up is now called a trillion. A tri-million. It's a million cubed. Three powers of a million. So that would line up with what's called a quintillion. I always thought the only dispute was between a billion, but they all fall out. It, they all fall out of order. Yeah, absolutely right. The, the long system, though, is more logical. The naming of the numbers are more logical. Billion, trillion has meaning, whereas they lose their meaning in the short system. OK, and you can carry on like this. A quadrillion, OK? A quadrillion. I mean, I could go on for a long time with this, really, if you want me to. <laughs> it is one million. What is it? One million. Well, quad. Quad is four. One million to the four. OK, and let's, let's, you can really extend it. Let's go right the way down. OK, what's a centillion? According to this logic, one centillion. OK, well, cent. So that's one million to the power of a hundred. OK, which is 10 to the 600. So that's, incidentally, is a, if you do it that way, is bigger than a, than a Google. <laughs> we do have some gaps now. Uh, it might be useful to have a name for these gaps. It might be useful to have a name for uh, a thousand million. Uh, we don't seem to have one now. Well, we do. The name for a thousand million in the long system, and I love this word, it's called a milliard. A milliard, that's a thousand million. It's fallen out of favour, that, that word. It's, it's still used, I think, in continental Europe, but in Britain, when we use the long system, it kind of fell out of favour. I think it's a great word. I want to bring back the milliard. So what have we got? Have we also got a billiard? Exactly, we've got a billiard right there. That's called a billiard, like a posh person playing snooker. Yeah, a billiard. In the financial world, they actually have a term called a yard. And it actually comes from the word milliard. And it means a thousand million. And they used the word yard instead of saying billion or thousand million because it's unambiguous. This is great. Why have we, why have we gone to this silly system that makes no, sort of, has no mathematical logic to it, which is just because somebody didn't really understand numbers that it got created. And we should have gone back to the old English way and I think to celebrate the Queen's 60th Jubilee, this is what we should do. We should all go back to the old English way of writing numbers. I prefer the long system, but I won't be using it. I won't be using the long system. I'll be using the short system. Uh, it's the standard in the English-speaking world. Asia don't really use these systems. They have their own systems. Uh, countries like Canada, bilingual countries, even more confusing, will use both, one for each language. So they'll be using short system in one language and the long system in the other. But well, you're shaking your head like that's not true. No, I believe you. It's just, it's just <laughs> you're, you're, you're amazed, aren't you? How, imagine, imagine. But the Greeks have an interesting system because what they're doing... They need it, the amount of money they owe. Oh, oh, don't get me started, right. They don't use the word million. Here's an interesting story as well. Million means large thousand. Mil means thousand. Million means a large thousand. Now, what the Greeks use is a word called, I'll put it here, myriad. Now, myriad in English means many, uncountably many, lots. Uh, it actually originally means 10,000. Myriad means 10,000. So what, instead of million, they don't say million, they call that 100 myriad. And the Greeks use the long system but instead of million, they have this word, 100 milliard. So they'll now have not a bi million, not a billion, but a bi hundred myriad. Oh, it just annoys me. I just, I just think it's, oh, it's rubbish the, the, the way everyone started to do it. It makes no sense. At least I can't see the sense in it. And the other one is just so elegant.